Hi guys, this is a Honor's latest budget phone recently released in China, the Honor X40 GT. Even though it's the end of 2022, it's still using the Snapdragon 888 associate which has a bad reputation. So what makes Honor confident to release such a product? Let's take a look together. What we got today is silver, with the perspective shift, its back cover will show a gradient texture, I quite like this design. The Honor X40 GT features a 6.81-inch LCD screen with a maximum 144Hz refresh rate and a narrow screen bezel, although the bezel at the bottom is a bit wider. It has good clarity and color, which gives you a great visual experience, and its display should be in the upper reaches of LCD screen phones. But also because the screen panel is LCD, it can only use the side fingerprint sensor. There is a ring-shaped camera module in the middle of the back cover, and in the center of the ring it says GT. One of the biggest selling points of the Honor X40 GT is in the SoC, yes it uses Snapdragon 888, which I think we all remember for its high power consumption, but Honor claims they put a lot of effort into the X40 GT's thermal design. I tried playing games on it for about 30 minutes and there was still some heat generated on the phone, but the body temperature was lower than other Snapdragon 888 phones, which may also be related to the cooler temperatures in the fall, and we'll do some more rigorous testing later. Honor X40 GT has a 4800 mAh battery that supports fast charging of up to 66 watts. It takes about 30 minutes to charge it from 0 to 78%. Now I'd like to talk about something that makes me dissatisfied. The material of its middle frame and back cover are plastic and the weight is heavy, which really makes it feel cheaper the animation speed of the UI is deliberately adjusted to be too fast. Although it has three cameras, two of them are actually meaningless for your daily use, and the main camera does not support OIS, here are some samples for your reference. In addition, Honor named the Phone X40 GT, GT usually stands for gaming performance, but compared with the Redmi K50 at the same price, it is much behind in hardware, it does not have an infrared transmitter and dual speakers, and the vibration motor is a bit worse. Okay that s what I wanted to share with you today, so what do you think of the Honor X40 GT, please leave your thoughts down below, I'm Hugo from Lightning Studio, see you next time.